up guys? Welcome back. How's it going? Today's Tuesday. And you guys know what that means. Taco, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. We didn't plan that. <laughs> that was literally not planned at all. Wow. That was amazing. Yes, yeah, Taco Tuesday is everybody's favorite night of the week. We know everyone does Taco Tuesday, but there's a reason why. And we're gonna show you guys. So stay tuned if you wanna see how we made this amazing taco. Super easy, do it yourself at home. It takes like 24 hours, super easy. 24 hours? <laughs> but yeah, no, it does. But it's super easy and it's really good. And we'll show you right now. All right, guys, welcome to our table. Here's what we're having. Casual Taco Tuesday, you know, normally we do double meats, maybe a fish and meat, but today, We've just got a little al pastor taco going. So we got this pulled pork. We got the pineapples to go in there. We got all your toppings, your cilantro, your onions, your tomatoes. We got this guacamole handmade by Joanne. It didn't really yep. do much with that spoon, but <laughs> handmade by Joanne. We got these healthy chip things. And of course, we've got our margaritas. Woo! We'll show you guys how it all happens. What's up guys? How's it going? We are here with Taco Tuesdays, but it's actually prep night the night before, before Taco Tuesdays. I know you might be confused. Why does Taco Tuesday start on Monday? It's Taco Tuesday. It doesn't really make sense to be on Monday, but I tell you what, meet Mondays, baby. This is gonna be our beautiful Al Pastor tacos with this beautiful pulled pork. And in order to have it as beautiful and tasty and delicious and juicy as we want, Gotta start prepping it tonight. Gonna clean this bad boy up. Got a little pork picnic hole on the bone. Gonna chop this thing off the bone. But yeah, I'm gonna let her marinate overnight. Catch all that juiciness tomorrow. See you guys on Taco Tuesday. But you say he's just a friend. But you say he's just a friend. Oh baby, you have got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. Alright guys, Meat Mondays is here. We've chopped up this bad boy, seasoned her up, melted these, not melted these limes, but you know we microwave these one <laughs> limes, as Joanne would say. So juicy, as you guys have already seen. We got this lovely bone over here. Uh, you know, feel free to pop that thing in a little pan, make a little bone broth, you'll see tomorrow. We already made some bone broth last week. It lasts way too long because <laughs> it makes too much. But yeah, season this sucker up, don't be shy, and then, you know, check out one of our videos for how to make a dessert, and then, you know, relax. Catch you guys tomorrow, Taco Tuesday. Welcome back to Taco Tuesday, guys. We're here, morning of, a little smoky in the room, and we're uh, prepping these guys again. We took them out of that marinade, cleaned them up a little bit more, dried them off a little bit. Now we're getting these bad boys a little fry up and then we're gonna throw them in the oven. Catch you guys in a minute. We're prepping all our tacos right now. We're prepping all the sides. So we're dicing up cucumbers, tomatoes, jalapenos. <laughs> we're dicing up some red onions, cutting up some limes. I'll just show you. Welcome to the preparation station. Uh, we got basically everything Joanne just listed going on right over here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna chop these suckers up and have a good time. Taking out the pork. Oh yeah. Here she is. Oh. There it is. Seven hours later. Wow. Let's see what's going on here. Oh yeah. I'm not even touching it really. Oh baby, hello, hello. Wow, that hello. looks so good. Oh. Mm. Now it might look like you've got too much juice in here, but once you shred this bad boy apart, it's gonna just suck all that juice up and it's gonna be amazing. Mm. Wow. Wow. 
All right. <laughs> you guys know what time it is. Guac time. Guac time. <laughs> I'm always in charge of the guac, so let's do it. But I'm in charge of chopping everything for the guac. Yes. <laughs> Joanne's in charge of seasoning and stirring. And mashing the avocado. <laughs> seasoning, stirring, mashing. <laughs> I'm in charge of chopping. You guys probably saw her technique on that last one. It was bad. I'm not good at dicing. I'm really not good at dicing like vegetables. So John always does that. Like I'm good at chopping or dicing it. But I can like put it all together. But thanks to John's chopping. <laughs> Quick um, shirt change because I felt like it. <laughs> we got our avocados. We find that the perfect amount of avocados to make guacamole for two people is three avocados. I actually thought it was four avocados. Really? But that's why Joanne's in charge of stirring and mixing and I'm just the chopper. Exactly. Gonna mash these babies. Beautifully diced onions. Let's see. That's why I'm the dicer. Wow, those are so nice. Those are way better than my diced onions. Beautiful. Good morning. Beautiful. That's good, thank you. Got my lemon squeezer that I love, lemon and lime squeezer. Microwave these limes, and I'm telling you, game changer. Oh, oh wait, not that much. Oh, there we go, there we go. It was a delayed response. Delayed. All right, so just mix this up. We added the red onions, tomatoes, lime juice. What are you doing, John? I am prepping the other star of the show, <laughs> the cilantro. You guys know how we feel about cilantro. We love it, <laughs> can't get enough of it, and it's gonna go everywhere. We love cilantro. What is that thing we were just talking about? If you could do something very mundane and it to be done magically? Yes, someone named Joanne yes. asked me a question. If you could have one task in the world that is a mundane task like that a you don't ever have to do again, weird what would task, be? yeah. Not like a superpower or anything like that. But it could be done in an instant. Exactly. Like shred a bunch of papers at once. Any random My mundane task. Is removing these leaves from these stupid stems. <laughs> so de-stemming. De-stemming <laughs> seasonings or whatever these are called. That's actually a really good one. Herbs. Herbs. Yeah, that's a good one. I still don't know what mine would be. I automatically put the dishes in the dishwasher away, even though I kind of like doing that. I don't know. And yeah, don't forget, tell us yours. Pop it down there in the comments. Let us know what your mundane task would be. Maybe we'll get you that power somehow. Maybe not. Touch the guacamole, a cilantro, and now we're gonna mix. John, this is beautiful. Yeah, I know. Pineapple, three ways. <laughs> it's a little too big though for my platter here. What are the three ways? Regular, smaller, and stick. <laughs> <laughs> put my guac on the top. That's weird, that's wrong. Actually, I think I like change it up sometimes. Why don't you guys write in the comments? Guac on top, guac on bottom. What do you do? <laughs> oh. 
baby. That looks so good, John. This is way too much for just Joanna and I. But we're gonna eat it all. We're gonna eat it. John and I always make double batches for dinner, and then we just eat the leftovers for lunch the next day. So it works out for us. It's true. If you're gonna <laughs> make anything, you may as well make a ton of it. That is what your first two tacos are supposed to look like. I'm gonna roll these bad boys up. Those are really nice. Those are loaded tacos. Yeah. Looking good, John. We gotta get off the camera for this one. <laughs> so John also whipped up these spicy pineapple margaritas and they're really tasty. What would you put in it? Pineapple. Yeah, you know. What? A little of this, a little of that. Not really sure. I got one of these pineapple three ways in my drink though. <laughs> Soak up a little bit of that special stuff that's in here. The tequila. <laughs> mm. It's really good. <laughs> mm. Oh wow. That actually is the best pork you've made, John. What can I say? It's so good. Pork. For you guys. Pork is our favorite for tacos. It's just like so easy. It is. So easy, so good. It's so delicious. We Especially like when you're in quarantine at home, you got all the time to let it sit in the oven. Exactly. Yeah. You like have more time to prep it in the morning and then you're just at home. So it's like cooking in your oven. Highly recommend. And then we have leftovers all week. It's perfect. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you all so right. much for watching. Thanks for coming. And as always, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. We hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for our next video. See you guys later. Bye guys!